hi everyone. So in this class, we'll be discussing about the NEET PG 2021 question. A patient presented with fever, pallor, hepatospinomegaly. He belongs from Uttar Pradesh. Peripheral smear examination revealed pancytopenia, and Buffy coat examination showed macrophages laden with organism with chytoplast. Which vector is most likely responsible? So the most important hint given here is. Macrophages are with kinetoplast. So the organism which shows kinetoplast are Leishmania and Trypanosoma. These are the organism which shows kinetoplast. So the trypanosoma are usually restricted to African and American countries and they usually present as sleeping sickness and Chagas disease. This is a usual presentation. But in the history it is mentioned that patient is having fever, pallor, Hepatospina megaly and fan cytopenia, which points to where the patient is having leishmaniasis or kala azar. Okay, leishmaniasis or kala azar. So, here it is more common in Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, West Bengal. is more common okay and what are these uh, buffy coat examination showed macrophages related with the organism with kinetoplast these are nothing but ld bodies that is leishman donovan leishman donovan bodies ld bodies which is nothing but the a mastigate form a mastigate form. So it will have a nucleus with kinetoplast. Nucleus with kinetoplast. Okay, it will have nucleus with kinetoplast. Okay, so the answer is Leishmania will spread by sand fly. So the answer here is C. Next question. A patient presented with acute worsening of respiratory symptoms on history it was revealed that he was already on steroids for treatment of tonic urticaria and has been having nocturnal cough for the last several weeks. CBC showed elevated yeast nobles and on bronchial alveolar lava, the presence of falling lava is observed. Which of the falling is the most likely uh, cause? So what we have to understand here is the lava has crossed the respiratory tract okay it has crossed the respiratory tract so organisms which passes the respiratory tract during during their life cycle is ankylostoma duodenale strongyloides tercoralis Ascaris lumbricoides. These are the nematodes which spreads through, which come, which uh, whose lava will go through respiratory tract during the life cycle. So here added on, they have given that patient is having acute worsening of respiratory tract. He is on chronic urticaria, and he is already on steroids. So these things, and he is having elevated eosinophils. So these things point towards he is having. A hyperinfection syndrome due to strong aloides. Due to strong aloides, and this image shows the lava of strong aloides. If at all the answer was candida uh, ankylostoma duodenale, means this also could be the answer, but the, in the option they have mentioned is ankylostoma caninum. 
So the best answer is Strongyloides stercoralis. Next question. A 50% burns patient develops infection at the burn site. On swab culture, the microbe is isolated in a strict aerobe and test shown in the image is positive. What is the most likely organism? So they have given the history say that oxidase positive organism is there. Okay. So if at all you see here it means E. coli, Salmonella, Klebsiella all belong to Enterobacteriaceae. So under Enterobacteriaceae all of them are catalase positive and oxidase negative. So the answer here is Pseudomonas aerogenosa. Further thing which is used, a further hint is in burns patient, the patient is having infection. Pseudomonas aerogenosa is the most common infection that is seen in a burns patient. Okay, so the answer is Pseudomonas aerogenosa. What are the other oxidase positive organism? If they ask means Burkholderia will be oxidase positive, Vibrio cholera will be oxidase positive, Neisseria will be oxidase positive. All these organisms are oxidase positive. Next question, a week after unprotected sexual intercourse, a 26 year old male develops urethral discharge as shown in the image. What is the most likely causative agent? Okay, so urethritis can be classified, urethritis can be classified into gonococcal urethritis and non-gonococcal urethritis. Gonococcal and non-gonococcal urethritis. Gonococcal urethritis patient will be having purulent discharge like this. Patient will be having purulent discharge. Whereas non-gonococcal urethritis patient will be having mucoid to watery to purulent discharge. Here for gonococcal the causative agent is Neisseria gonorrhea. Whereas for non gonococcal, the causative agent will be HSV, chlamydia. It can be trichomonas, candida. So these are the non gonococcal agents causing urethritis. Urea plasma is also a non-gonococcal agent. So this Aniseria gonorrhea are gram-negative cocci arranged in pairs and they are kidney shaped. And they are kidney shaped. These are kidney shaped and here the culture medium of choice is Thayar Martin medium Thayar Martin medium and the swab is usually transported in Amy's or Stuart medium so these medium are usually used for transmitting the swabs okay so the answer is Nisiri Gonoye Next question, an unimmunized two year old child present with coryza conjunctivitis blue whitish spot in the mucosal area near the lower molar tooth. After one day she developed a macular papillar rash on the face and neck. What is the nature of the causative virus? So first the patient is having coryza conjunctivitis whitish blue mucosal discharge. So this is nothing but that is buccal mucosa, uh, patient is having bluish white spot nothing but the coplic spot coplic spot after which the patient is having rashes so fever followed by coplic spot followed by rashes point towards a patient is having measles infection patient is having measles infection so one thing which you have to remember is all the DNA virus are double stranded. 
एक्सेप्ट पार्वो वायरस एंड ऑल द आर एन ए वायरस आर सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड एक्सेप्ट रियो वायरस एग्जाम्पल रोटा वायरस एंड रेट्रो वायरस ओके सो वी ऑल नो दैट मीसिल्स इज अ आर एन ए वायरस मीसिल्स इज अ आर एन ए वायरस सो ऑल द आर एन ए वायरस आर सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड एक्सेप्ट रियो वायरस एंड रेट्रो वायरस सो मीसिल डजन कम अंडर दिस सो द आंसर इज सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए वायरस नेक्स्ट दे हैव आस्ट वेदर इट इज एनवेलप्ड और नॉट एनवेलप्ड और नॉट सो हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस ओके सो फर्स्ट वी हैव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एनवेलप्ड डी एन ए वायरस एनवेलप्ड डी एन ए वायरस हेरपीस hepatitis b and fox and we and there is something called as non enveloped dna virus in which the pneumonic is pap in which the pneumonic is pap parvo virus adeno virus papavo virus okay papavo virus so this is a dna virus uh, for non envelope the pneumonic is pap pap smear is always naked in naked position so for when taking the pap smear envelope will not be present okay they will be taken in naked position so you can remember this pneumonic pap parvo adeno papavo okay for envelope dna virus it is herpes hepatitis b and pox how to this pox should not be compared with the pap so how to remember is fox is present in a box so it is enveloped fox is present in a box so for enveloped dna virus fox will come next for enveloped rna virus enveloped rna virus what all you have to remember is so for the enveloped rna virus you will have all the virus which spreads by droplet or through mosquito borne like dengue chikungunya um, zika a uh, tick borne thysma forest uh, droplet borne like uh, rubella covid all these you need a protection correct so to prevent from that infection you need a protection like mosquito net or the mask so remember that like that enveloped rna virus you have all the mosquito borne and the droplet borne infection so the answer is enveloped single standard thank you